Happy New Year! So I've not actually done a video over um, over the Christmas because I kind of left all my equipment up here. Um, I was supposed to take it home um, to see the, when I went to go see the parents over Christmas, so that's so why I didn't do one. And actually, to be honest, there wasn't really much to do. Um, I don't actually have a brew. I have a coffee because I kind of wanted one. It's actually um instant job. Um, it's uh, uh, Arrowbutts because... Um, I was going to make a filter coffee, but I couldn't be bothered because um, I just couldn't really. Um, uh, yeah, it just like takes 10 minutes. I just couldn't be bothered whatsoever. So I have instant coffee. I should probably have far too much off today. Um, I've got the kind of juices a bit. Right. So um, what I thought I'd just talk about really is just random shit. Um, what happened in 2012? What was going to happen in 2013? Uh, my prediction for stuff before we get any further check out the tech up there there's a like a link to a video up there really really good guys um like they really know the shit they talked about what happened in 2012 and what happened in 2013 as well um and their their internet show is really really good and actually a hell of a lot more popular than mine for obvious reasons because they've got two people on there yeah it's just it's just a lot better um go and check those guys out um and also i think i'll put a, like a subscription link down below that of like their channel and just get and subscribe to it because they're really, really good um just go and check them out they're just fantastic they're, they're the shows do go on for about half an hour but still definitely worth checking out so what happened in 2013 then? Um, well, apart from Apple fucking up, not necessarily too much. It was kind of the year of tablets again, really. I suppose it. Um, it. I mean, everybody in their uncle's got a tablet now. Um, obviously, we had the likes of the Nexus Seven came out, and then the and then Apple copied the uh, copied Google as they always do um, these days because Apple can't innovate for shit. Um, yeah, so Apple kind of copied that and went for an iPad Mini. I don't quite know why because it's. I don't know, it kind of seemed a bit pointless, especially considering its price. And also considering iOS is an absolute abomination of an OS. So um, so that happened. Windows 8 came out, and actually is fucking amazing. And um, if you disagree with me, well, then fuck you, because it, is, it seriously is amazing. I, I think it's brilliant. Um, if you've not upgraded to Windows 8 yet, do it. 25 quid on Microsoft. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. No, I'm not paid by Microsoft at all, but I think it's a fucking amazing product, and I think everybody should have it because it's really, really good. Um, yes, I I don't think I've ever had a problem with it. I know some people have, but I've I think I've had two blue screens, and that was it. And that was only because I installed some new drivers, and uh, the other time I installed some new hardware, and it didn't like it, so I had to reinstall my operating system. But that's just that, you know, such is life. But um, I know other people have some major range problems with it, but I haven't, so I've been quite lucky in that regard. Well, I know what's happened in 2013. Um, Apart from Jimmy Savile going and being a paedophile, um, not really necessarily that much. I think the, was it the, no, Steve Jobs died the year before, didn't he? I was going to say Steve Jobs died this year, but he didn't because I got that autobiography last Christmas, so it can't be. Um, they must have died the year before that. That seems like, I'm sure he died sooner than that. But anyway, yeah, the great Steve Jobs did die, which is why Apple have now, well, that's why they're in the shit now, basically, because, um, they can't innovate anymore because they release shit like Apple Maps and get people killed. Um, but anyway, so what's going to happen in 2013? Um, because 2012 is in the past. We beat the mines and we survived the apocalypse. Yay! Um, so 2013, probably going to be the year of Linux, I'm going to say. Um, according to the tech, um, they reckon that um, 2012 was the year of Linux. Um, and I suppose it kind of was to a certain extent, but it kind of wasn't really. It was still the year of the tablet as it was the previous year as well as the year of the tablet. This year, though, I think is going to be the year of, of Linux. Um, for various uh, for various reasons, um, mainly because OEMs are switching to Ubuntu now, um, and especially with Ubuntu Phone coming out uh, as well, and hopefully if some OEMs get on board with that, that will make well, Linux to come to everybody, but Linux is already in everybody's hand. I mean, Android is Linux at the end of the day. Um, if you don't realise that, yeah, Android is Linux, and so if you've got an Android phone, you're already running Linux. And because Android's got the highest market share for, uh, for well, in terms of the mobile smartphone market, um, or just mobile phones because smartphones are the the market leader anyway. But yeah, in terms of market share, Android's oh, Christ, miles miles above Apple, miles above. But especially miles above Windows 8 and miles and miles above uh, BlackBerry as well, because I believe BlackBerry now below Windows Phone in terms of um, market share, which is quite interesting. So um, Linux is, well, 
Ubuntu is one of those things that's kind of progressed so lo so well. It's progressed loads. I remember back in the day when you struggled to get it to run properly. You had to. I mean, you'd struggle to find drivers for things, and it just wouldn't work work properly. And today, I can pretty much chuck it on any machine. I don't have to do anything with it. It'll it'll sort out video drivers. It'll sort out sound drivers. It'll sort out wireless. Um, it'll sort out. Um, well, yeah, standard network cards as well. It will sort out pretty much everything. I don't think I've ever put Linux or Ubuntu on within the past year. Any machine I put Ubuntu on, I've never ever had a problem, and I've put it on quite a few machines, um, which is you know fantastic considering you know a couple of years ago you'd you'd be struggling to put it on any machine. You could put it on a few and it'd be fine, but there'd be a lot that you wouldn't be able to put it on. Um, and also, Ubuntu's gone insanely easy to use. I don't actually like the new interface i don't like it as a as a geek for me it's just kind of too easy and too babysitty like like apple stuff but it's probably the most easiest os to use ever i mean if if i i would quite happily put it on my family's pc like if if it wasn't for the fact they used itunes um i would put it on there because it's insanely easy to, like seriously easy to use easier to use than ios uh, ios easy to use than mac os probably not necessarily ios but actually to a certain extent it probably is um not easy to use than windows not windows 8 no um unless you sit with the metro or the the interface formerly known as metro um it's so it's insanely easy to use i i think I mean, and the other thing as well you can't really break it and people were saying oh you know you don't want to give it to the news because they don't know what they're doing but you can't break it, really. Unless they go into the terminal and they log in as root. You can't really fuck anything up. And if you can, and if you do, so what? You just reinstall it. It's not a big deal. I mean, you've not got licensing restrictions like with with Microsoft, which really pisses me off. You've got 10 activations, especially with TechNet, which really annoys me. I install operating systems on tons of things to test out. And I've got 10 activations, and, and you have to activate it after 60 days or whatever. And sometimes it goes on for longer than 60 days, and I've got to reinstall it. But... Ubuntu I'd quite happily put on, on my family's machine and I'd get them to use that because it's insanely easy to use and um, for them, they don't need anything powerful, they don't need the full power of, of Office and if they did, I could use Wine, I could use Wine to, to run it in uh, a virtual machine um, I don't know how well it would run in a virtual machine, especially on a shit cheap, like a shitty spec machine but um, it'd be interesting to see, in actual fact I might chuck Ubuntu on my test machine and see whether I'll, how, how well it performs and possibly switch, I've been tempted to switch Ubuntu, or switch over to Ubuntu on my on my gaming PC actually and just have it literally as my primary OS especially now that Steam's Steam's gone over to Linux as well, I mean that's fantastic that, that is brilliant because it means that um, the gaming or PC gaming is now coming to, to Linux properly and if Steam can support it that's brilliant and you and do you know why Steam is supporting it? Because they're coming out with their own console. Um, they're going to create their own hardware, and they're literally going to have um, just a Steam engine, like a Steam console, really. Um, and so they'll have really powerful hardware in there, and that will be what the likes of Sony and, uh, and Microsoft will have to do to push out the Xbox and the PlayStation is to try and overtake something like the Steam box, because there'll be third parties as well that'll actually create something, so there'll be OEMs that create their own version of the Steam box, because they can. Chuck Linux on it, chuck a, a Steam thing distro on it, and there you go, and you'll have a really, really powerful machine. It might be a bit more expensive than a standard console, but hey, who cares? I mean, if you paid 100 quid extra to get a really beasty machine, that's fucking fantastic. The other thing that's also happening as well with Linux, um, I know I'm talking about Linux far too much, but I generally believe that this is going to be the year of Linux. Um, OEMs themselves, so original equipment manufacturers, the likes of Dell, already have the option of you to you uh, to install Ubuntu on um, as your OS instead of Windows, which is fantastic, because that means that because users won't install operating systems on the machine because they just won't um, they it means that you know when people go out and buy a PC they've got the option of installing Ubuntu um, and if they can save some money as well because I mean Ubuntu is like open source and free so if you can save yourself a Windows um, key and a Windows license and, and bring the price down by 70 70 quid or whatever it is. I don't know how much the OEM license costs and how much OEMs generally charge for a Windows license, but if you can push the price down, brilliant, fantastic, and, and a lot more people will actually use it, especially if they've if they're going to start using it in in other places. The trouble is, I don't think that Linux is just going to go to to business just yet. Um, I don't think. I mean, there are some educational institutions that are moving to Linux um, and Ubuntu and things like this um, from purely a, a well cost point of view because it's 
cheap slash free. Um, but I don't think businesses will necessarily because Windows kind of just works really. Um, people may dispute that fact, but there's a reason why businesses use Windows and Microsoft products because not only have they been tied into the ecosystem anyway, but everything works together. So you have a Windows operating system, you use Office, you use Microsoft, Microsoft Exchange, and then you use Windows Server to manage everything under that anyway. So you wouldn't necessarily, and if you've been using Windows all this time, you wouldn't necessarily move to Linux. New businesses might actually start up using Linux. I mean, I if I started my own business and I had a lot of employees, I would definitely move to Linux without a doubt. But no, I genuinely believe that this year is really going to be the year of Linux. And, um, and that's kind of that, really. Uh, but no, definitely check out the tech up there and subscribe to them down there somewhere. Um, and apart from that, I shall catch you in a later video.